Hey guys, I am back for another unplanned, rather impromptu doodly video. Um, and the reason I decided to put this together was because I had noticed there were questions about whether or not Doodly Rainbow was worth the money. You know, was it worth the extra investment of purchasing this particular add-on in the Doodly software? So as you guys know, when you purchase Doodly, whether it's the standard version or the enterprise version, you're going to get a ton of scenes and characters and props and, and music and all kinds of stuff. And you can certainly add your own in. However, when it comes to the full color stuff, you know, over time, that has become a bigger thing. I think when Doodly came out, black and white images were, you know, they were a lot more popular. But as time has gone on, I think people have started to do more of the colored stuff, more of the, you know, colored scenes you know, colored in characters. And so, you know, a big question was, how do we start getting the colored images? I've actually put a video together about where you can get colored images, but that was before Doodly Rainbow came out. And so I just kind of want to discuss whether or not it is worth it. So before I go on, I just want to let you guys know, this is not an affiliate link. I am not getting paid and I don't get paid for any of the Doodly tutorials. I'm not a teacher. These are just things that I, as a user, have figured out on my own and figured I would share the information. It seems that people have found my videos useful, so I figure I will keep putting them together as long as something comes up that, you know, is worth sharing. So before I get into Doodly Rainbow, first I want to let you know that if you're on a really tight budget and you don't have the money, there are things that you can do to get yourself some additional colored um, vectors, SVG images. One of those places, I shared it in another video, I'll quickly go over it here, is Pixabay. If you go to Pixabay, you can type in whatever it is you want. I just chose business people. And you would go to this, you know, little menu here. You would specifically choose vector graphics. And yeah, something that's not a half bad idea here would be to go ahead and choose a transparent background, unless you don't care. Um, I usually prefer transparent backgrounds, but if you find something like this, you know, I, well, it doesn't matter. Forget I said all that. Anyway, but you would be able to come here and you can find all kinds of little business people vectors. And let's just say you... You click on this lady and you were to hit, I'm signed in. It's always a good idea if you're going to use Pixabay to go ahead and sign in uh, because it'll save you time. And as you can see, you would just go with the SVG image here and you can download it. Okay. So, and you can type in whatever, you know, whether it's a, a bow or a rainbow or dogs or whatever. Pixabay is a pretty vast library, but you know, you're still going to find some limitations. It is still going to take you some time. Very helpful, but it can be time consuming. Okay. Another um, option that I found, if you go to Google or whatever search engine you're using, you would want to type in vector images, free download, specifically SVG, because it's the SVG that's going to work in Doodly if you already want those draw paths. Um, otherwise, you'll get like an EPS file, you know, they might give you, um, you might find JPG, PNG, those will all be fine. I don't know about the EPS, but you know, you can certainly do the PNG, JPG. However, they won't have the draw paths. You'll have to put them in yourself or use a different program to create them. So, and I went here and here you would get, these are all public domain vectors, okay. And if you went to any of these, okay, like here's some business people, and it looks like, well, it looks like there are quite a few of them, okay? So you would go ahead, you would do something like that, and you can certainly upload the SVGs into Doodly. I do have another video kind of walking you through how to load those paths, so I will make sure to link it in the description box. So, back to Doodly Rainbow. What happens when you purchase Doodly Rainbow? It's a one-time purchase of $67. And basically what happens is, is all of the images that you already have in black and white, you now have in color, okay? And so I'm gonna go to Doodly here, which I already have loaded. And if you have purchased the rainbow option, which I have, 
then what happens here is you would find this little button, you can turn it off, and then you would see that like all these people, all these little scenes, all this stuff would be black and white. And again, you know, there's really nothing wrong with it. I, I did plenty of videos with the black and white stuff and I went in and I found a couple little colored icons and colored doodads to put in the video and so be it. As far as I'm concerned, if you have a good message, you've got a good message, okay? However, if you do want the color, the, the color in there, you would, you know, once you've purchased it, it shows up in Doodly, you would click on, and then as you can see, all of these things are now colored in, okay? So why is this a big time saver? Well, because these days, if I wanna make a video and I want to have, you know, the colored in images, I don't have to take the time going through, looking different sites, trying to download things and then re-upload them into Doodly and then, you know, enabling the draw paths. This stuff is already done. And again, you'll probably want to see what else is out there. You'll probably want to add more into the library, but this, this library is so vast. So if you want to put a quick video together and save some time, I don't know, maybe you're a teacher and you want to put a video together about, you know, a lesson and you're wanting to animate it. And I can show you, and I've used this before, and hang on, bear with me. I hope you're not getting dizzy with the scrolling, um, but it's, I think it's a little closer to, the, there we go. Okay. okay, so our classroom scene has loaded. And as you can see, you've got quite a bit of content here. I mean, if you were to scroll, you're gonna see it takes up quite a bit of time. You can certainly go in here and change out the duration. I mean, I don't think you need three seconds to draw a globe or a clock or anything like that. Stuff like that could start to get a little bit boring here. You don't need three seconds for that or the pen or anything like that. However, this scene with Doodly Rainbow is completely filled in. It is already done. You don't have to do anything to it. You certainly could customize it. I mean, I've used this scene before. I've gotten rid of the, you know, the table and the students and the chairs. And, um, but it's going to save you a lot of time. If I wanted to build this scene, it would easily take me, I don't know, 15 minutes. And if I had to start looking for the vectors, then it would take even longer. Again, if you're on a budget and you don't have any money, I would be the first one to tell you don't spend money that you don't have, okay? Find a way, you, you can make it work. There's plenty of free stuff that you can use. I mean, you can totally create this scene. I mean, all you'd have to do is type in wall and you'll find, you know, you'll find tons of walls. And that's what I did when I first started out, you know, I would find a wall and I would just, uh, I would build the scene around it. And as you can see in here, they're, they're already colored in. All right, this is, they're all in here. All of these separate elements are in here as props, okay? However, again, as a time saver and with Doodly Rainbow, this is certainly an option, okay? So, and as far as, you know, you were able to see the wall, um, I can tell you right off the bat, here's one. And again, these were these were all black and white before, but with Doodly Rainbow, they have the color. Um, social media, let me see what they got here. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this social media icon was in here in black and white before, and now it is colored. So was this, I, I believe it was anyway. So a lot of these, you know, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly what was in here. Let me see, actually, we'll find out. If you want to find out what was already in your library, all you got to do is click that and you'll find out. So you can see all of this stuff was already included. So what we can do, if you don't want to do the doodly rainbow right now, you can still add color to this. Okay, let's make it, I don't know, kind of a fleshy colored, whatever. All right. We've got an orange hand but that is a way to create some color if you know right now doodly rainbow is not an option i did the same thing in one of my very first videos you know i i um put the telephone in and i wanted to give it a color and that's uh not it there we go this is the exact one i used and i made it kind of a 
a different color. But here in Doodly Rainbow, it's this color. But if it isn't, I mean, you can just turn it into whatever color you want. These kinds of phones were, you know, back in the day, that kind of reminds me a little bit of avocado green. So we'll just make it that color. And well, normally you would have it. <laughs> normally you would have it. So anyway, folks, there we go. So that's how that goes. So will Doodly Rainbow save you a ton of time? Absolutely, because you'll have a vast library here of different icons and images and scenes that you'll be able to use. In fact, he is telling you here, I believe it was, let me see. Okay, so if you have like 8,000 images, what it does is it, you know, it doubles it because now you have them all in color. Okay, so... I just wanted to show you whether or not, you know, I, I personally found it was well worth the time and well worth the investment. Um, it's a one-time fee and obviously you'll never pay it again, already included in your program. And um, so I personally found it was worth it. But again, guys, if you don't have money, if you just purchased the program and you are on a very, very strict budget, don't spend money you don't have. There are certainly ways that you can go about it. They will take more time. And then I would tell you that perhaps if you've made a few bucks, maybe sold a few videos or whatever it was that you have done with Doodly or whatever it is that you're doing in life, you know, then yeah, I personally think it was well worth it. It saves me a lot of time. Um, the little video, the little holiday video that I had put in the group, you know, it took me, I think, five minutes at most to put that together. And that was because the Doodly Rainbow, you know, I just kind of put in some scenes and threw in a couple of, you know, colored uh, vectors in there. And it was easy, easy enough to do. All right. So I hope this helps you out. I hope this helps you make a nice, clear decision. Um, I personally want to say I think Doodly's been really cool about constantly adding and updating and upgrading things. And um, it seems to me that they work pretty hard to try to make this um, a very well worth it product for us to use. So, and again, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I'm, this is no affiliate link here, okay? So anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. I will also link my other Doodly tutorials below. And I wish you guys a fantastic new year, new decade and beyond. And if you like stuff like this, Please feel free to like this video, share it with people, maybe other Doodly members, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, all that great stuff. And until next time, take care.